Hi everyone, um, I'm popping on today to show you how to make shakers with no fancy tools, no die cutting machines. All you will need is a pair of scissors, you will need some glossy accents, you will need some sequins, you will need some form of wooden frame, and you will need three of the exact same piece, so I'll show you how that works. You will need some cardstock. You will need something, some type of ephemera to fill up. I just have these on hand, ready, made up. Um, I just sit down and make them up. So you will need some of those. Um, and if you have them, some clips to hold it together while it dries. So I'll show you a couple that I have made and then I will show you how to make it yourself there we are and it is a shaker and then I also have I've made tons of them but these are the two that I just have here on my desk so I'm going to show you how to do that right first of all you're going to want to make yourself a template so, hope I'm in frame. Open up your wooden pieces. Now, this one pack will make two, okay? And you can use all types of frames. You can use the ones from Poundland. I've used possibly every ones they have. Also, you can pick some up from Hobbycraft. And it is the same concept, so I am going to get into the video and show you how to do it. Use, there we are, I hope you can see, use this, the one you have, and take it to the edge, draw around it. This is your template. doesn't have to be perfect. By any means, it is just your template. You just want to get the general shape of your wooden piece and as you can see by no means mine isn't perfect so long as my cut is better it will be fine there we are and you want to draw all the way around it then you want to hold it still and just draw around the inside that's your template okay so when you're cutting this now so long as you cut in between this line then it will fit on the back of this okay and you're going to use that template I'm going to cut mine out now with you you're going to use that template to cut your acetate and to cut your designer paper now I'm not worried about the fact that I have smudged the pencil because this is just my template I'm not worried about the fact that it's a bit there we are so there's our template now and I am going to use this colour paper for my design, so we're going to cut that out again. But in between that, for the purpose of the video, I am going to go ahead and glue these down. Get the paper out of the way. Hope you can see. And I'm just going to run a bit of glossy accents don't put too much because it will spill out and i just used glossy accents uh, i just like the way it dries um i may buy some wood glue but for right now i'm using what i have make sure they line up together clamp one end clamp the other now you will need to clamp all four sides because I have tried this and if you don't 
it bows a little bit so what you should have oh sorry mine's moved a little bit make sure that it lines up there we are and again if it doesn't line up unclip your clamps line it back up clip it back together and leave that to dry whilst you're doing the rest so I'm going to put this to one side now so it can dry then I'm going to that's my frame I'm working with so I'm going to put the others to a side I'm going to use my template now I am gonna I'm just gonna hold it on and go around following my template as best I can before I glue it down I can check if there's any little bits poking out that I want to take off make these edges not so sharp so that's all the cutting of your designer paper now so move that to one side turn over and see right so that one there that's my paper I'm going to use this is my template I am going to take my acetate hope you can see this there we are I'm going to take my acetate take my template take it to the edge so I've only got a little bit to cut out hold it there and go around around my acetate so and then that's all the cutting that you need to do now I'm going to move my acetate to one side um, with acetate if you don't have any sheets of acetate you can I'll tell you about that at the end but I'll tell you where you can get some acetate and what you can use instead so you're going to take your frame you're going to decide what color I'm going to choose the pattern side so I'm going to lay it down and move my template out of the way I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to put a little bit of glossy accents as I said don't put too much it will spill out your sequins will stick to it try to leave it to dry so that you don't get all the sequins stark and then you're going to take your piece of acetate you're going to lay it across the front gently gently patting it into place so that you don't have very much spillage and as you can see that is done now so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this piece unclip our pieces there we are it should be dry turn it face down you're going to get your piece of paper and glue it so let's just add a little bit now if you have any questions about this please feel free to ask I hope that you can see everything right and you're going to pick the color that you want I would like to use the purple so I'm just going to place that down if you want to be super duper then you you um just make sure your template's as neat as it can be but to be honest it's the back you're not going to see it doesn't have to be perfect um now you need to pick something to go inside i am going to use this little piece of a uh, ephemera that i already have and what i used was this little piece of card off the front of my postcard pad i just cut the little picture out so i'm going to go ahead and glue that in you can place this on dimensionals you can put some foam behind it 
I mean, you can get as creative as you want. You do not have to do the same as what I'm doing. I'm just showing you the out shapes. You can really go absolutely as far as you want with these. So that's that stuck down. Then you need to fill it with your sequins. Now this is really deep. I hope you can see. There we are. So you can fill it with a lot of sequins. I'm just going to use this pre-made sequin mix that I've already mixed up. I, When I get my sequins in, I just make up little mixes. And some people share stuff and we swap. So that's where I keep them. I'm going to add some sequins. Um, I use Tic Tac boxes for my sequins um, after I've eaten out this, the um, Tic Tacs I just fill it up with sequins it's a great way to keep all your little bits contained now I do want it to make the shaker sound so I am going to add a couple of these little these give a really nice sound there we are. I don't want to fill it too much. And now you just need to seal it up. And to seal it up, you're going to add a little bit of glossy accents. As I said, not too much. It will spill out. Your sequins will stick to it. Once they're stuck inside, once it's sealed, they are stuck there. So... And you don't need any fancy tools. You can make this out of packaging. There we are, line it up. I usually line it up gently and I clamp it just for a minute or two. Now you can make these as dimensional as you want. Honestly, you really can. And that is your shaker. You can put sequins, glitter, whatever you want in there. It will not spill out. So long as you seal it properly. I have filled this one with little, tiny, tiny sequins. They're not going anywhere. Um, this one is filled with glitter. There we are doesn't come out, doesn't spill anywhere and this one has little sequins and sea beads and as I said nothing spills out, leave that for a minute or two to dry um, and your shaker, your shaker is done there you are, I hope you can see that And you don't need any fancy tools. Um, if you don't have any acetate, you can get this off of AliExpress. It is for making cakes. Uh, you get a big old roll. I've used a lot off of this roll as well. You can also purchase um, the book covers, which is where I got these from. And they are quite good quality. You get 100 for £10 on Amazon. Um, but... To be honest, you don't need to buy any. You can use the plastic off of your stickers, off of anything you've got. They're, it's just packaging. Honestly, you will have some laying around, I'm pretty sure. And you will need sequins, something to fill it up. And have fun. Just use what you have. Have fun. So I hope you enjoy this video, everyone. And um, if you do enjoy it, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you do try this, please let everyone know where you found out and um, share the video so everybody can try it. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye.